This is, this is a tough question. It's from Kunal. And Kunal asked this, I am reaching out to check if you have a body weight version of the Easy Strength program. Well, one of the problems with body weight work, and, and there, it, it's, it's not a problem. I mean, if you decided to get into gymnastics, especially as a male, uh, it is interesting because uh, when you go to the Olympics and look at uh, the sport of gymnastics, it does come right out of the military training. Uh, the pommel horse, of course, was to train yourself to be more effective on, a, on horseback. And everything else is basically escape and evasion stuff. Uh, so, but, I mean, if you want a really great upper body, uh, <laughs> join, join your college gymnast and gymnastics team. Or what if I know it's a it's a sport that is very specialized and is getting harder and harder on the male side to find uh, uh, places to do it. Um, I mean, I mean, if you want to be dense, I mean, the parallel bars, the high bar, <laughs> that's going <laughs> to the floor work. Your your upper body is going to be racked and jacked. Uh, the downside always with body weight work is the lower body stuff. Now, if you were a uh, to learn practice gymnastics every day and combine that with hill sprints, you probably would have everything pretty much done. But did you see what I had to do already as I had to throw the hill in there for some kind of load? Um, the, the, the physics of the hill provides the load in this case. Um, I, I like body weight work. Uh, that's of course where all of us started. Um, I don't have my copy of Arnold, the educational bodybuilder anymore. I bought it the day it came out, by the way. I went to the bookstore and, and I bought the book and I, I got a weird look from the lady like there was something wrong with me. Uh, they had one copy uh, back then, I think it was 1975 when it came out, I think, and then Pumping Iron was a year or two later. Uh, back then, man, if you bought a bodybuilding book, you, people looked at you funny like there was something wrong with you. And there was, and there was something wrong with me. I. I lifted weights, and I'm not ashamed to admit that out loud. Um, he has that whole course that you really should follow. He recommends six months of it before you ever touch a weight. And I actually agree. Um, I think if you do the pull-ups, the push-ups, the, 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 the dips between chairs, and all that kind of thing, long-term, I think you'd be happy you did that. Uh, most people don't do that. Uh, in fact, most people who lift weights for two weeks are now, you know, absolutely, they know everything because they read a, they read a, <laughs> they read some idiotic thing online and now they have, they're belonging to a tribe of, of idiots, basically. Uh, <laughs> William Shakespeare, a good friend of mine growing up, uh, he said, uh, you are the idol of idiot worshipers. And I feel that way sometimes when you look at some of the craziness you see on the internet. Uh, can you do body weight only, easy strength? You sort of kind of do as you go through your normal development. Uh, if you're trying to up your number of push-ups you can do as a, as a teenager for the PE test, you'll probably follow the easy strength protocols. Uh, when I improved my pull-up for the pull-up test, we got tested on pull-ups constantly as a kid, and I sucked at them. Um, but the way you improve your pull-ups is you, in my case anyway, uh, I don't remember the other boy's name. Um, I, I want to say it was a Andrew Chang, but I, I, I think my memory is is a little bit weak there. Andrew Chang, Steve Ludwig, and myself used to go up to the pull-up bars and just practice ideas, including hanging by your toes and all kinds of idiocy. But that's how I got my pull-up number, so I could max out that uh, those tests, those fitness tests they used to give us. So it does work. Frankly, though, uh, Kunal, I got to tell you, it it works. Body weight works kind of until it doesn't. Now, if you're going to spend seven hours a day uh, training for the Olympics as a gymnast, it's going to keep working for you for a long time. Um, but for us mere mortals, um, the dose probably isn't enough. Um, you do need to have some kind of progressive resistance exercise, exercise to make... Um, easy strength work. It's the question I get when people say, Dan, just give me a kettlebell only program. Well, if you're like me, and I have, I have uh, about 45 kettlebells in my home gym now. You know, I can get away with a lot in my home gym with kettlebells. 
but I also have three Olympic bars. And I got to tell you, it's easier to use the Olympic bars than the kettlebells for easy strength. Um, and and if you, you follow some of my rules, it's even easier. Uh, that great lesson, I was up at Utah State, and uh, I was telling uh, the people I was with about when I was there, all we had was 45 pound plates and 25 pound plates. And for the track and field team, we didn't have any other plates. So I got to tell you, I think some of the roots of easy strength in my mind came from training in the Nelson Fieldhouse with just 45s and 25s and a, a one single barbell, a good York barbell. Uh, because if, if you're snatching 135, the next jump is 185, and that's that's a pretty serious jump. Um, so I, it's just something, uh, I mean, I, I guess I could tell you that you can do an experiment with a easy strength body weight idea. If you just took some of the principles, you're probably already doing them, but if I were to tell you to tick, pick five body weight exercises and do them every day for 40 days, and you could do it either five days a week or just the straight 40. I think by the time you got to the end of the 40 days, you'd make very impressive progress. I mean, I think the ab wheel is body weight, uh, the pull up is body weight, the dip is body weight, the pull up chin up. So, ab wheel, pull up chin up, dip, you know, you'll really max out push ups way too fast. And now we run into the problem is what's an appropriate hinge and what's an appropriate squat. Uh, obviously you could do body weight squats. Someone's gonna mention in the comments, Hindu squats, and I've never gotten any value out of them. But um, I would say those three upper body, the ab wheel, the pull, pull up, chin up, the dip, those are gonna work uh, marvels. I guess if you throw in some hill sprints, that would be good, or stadium steps. And then another exercise, you know, you could do something as simple as those, you know, back extension supermans, we call them. That might be good, though. Again, there's no progressive resistance exercise. Hip thrust from the floor, I do those literally every day um, to, to get my body ready to do the Olympic lifts. But even then, you know, and I do a lot of reps in the hip thrust uh, to warm up. I mix them with clamshells. Um, uh, and I use the Brett Contreras' glute loop. My favorite one is go 15 hip thrusts, 15 clamshells, then 14, 14, 13, 13, down to 1, 1. And that's a lot of reps. Um, and it gets the job done for what I need. So it prepared me to Olympic lift and a front squat. But well, that's a tough one. Uh, so the answer is there are things you can do, but you're going to run into a problem when you move into the squat, the hinge, uh, hands, you know, handstand walking, I guess, is loaded carries. But yeah, you're going to run into a problem with three of the five major movements. So I would say the answer is you can try it, but I think you're going to see a wall hit you pretty soon. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with the wall you hit when you only train body weight. <laughs> it's a good wall to hit. You know, if you get your chin up up to 35 reps and your dip up to 35 and you ab wheel 35 times and you, know, and you don't get any injuries from it, that's, a, that's pretty impressive. Um, it, and you probably look good and feel good. And if you can add in any kind of lower body work with it, it's going to be pretty good. You're not going to win Highland games or the, the discus throw, and you're probably, you know, there is an example of one person making the NFL without lifting weights and doing lots of push ups, sit ups, and uh, uh, that kind of thing and, and sprinting. But uh, unless your name's Herschel Walker, <laughs> uh, I don't know. So it's it it's a good idea. I like it. Uh, I can't put one together because I I'm I'm not going to do it. So if I don't do something, I I usually don't. I always do a program before I recommend it, and I don't see myself doing that. So you're gonna have to do this experiment on your own, which is great. All right. Thank you so much. It's a good question. I don't do a good job answering. I realize that because. It's just not something I, I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about because, oh, and I got nothing against body weight training. That has to be made clear. But I use kettlebells, uh, barbells, and other equipment to, to, for my personal needs. Uh, you know, if this was a question from 1971, 1972, when I was first starting up, uh, we would have probably trained together and had a lot of fun, but I've kind of progressed beyond that. Uh, and thank you.
Okay, bye-bye.